हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल सी द काइनेटिक्स एंड स्पेशली वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल पार्ट सो एक्चुअली वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल और न्यूटन सेकंड लॉ और इंपल्स मोमेंटम प्रिंसिपल मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स कैन बी सॉल्व बाय एनी वन समटाइम्स वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल व्हेन वेलोसिटीज आर बीइंग आस्क्ड दिस प्रिंसिपल इज वेरी सिंपल एंड वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल इज व्हाट force in the direction of motion or resultant force in the direction of motion into distance more is equal to change in kinetic energy half m v square minus u square so this is the work energy principle this r into s resultant force into distance more is a work and this is change in kinetic energy this is called as work energy principle change in k and simply the procedure is also just like newton second law initially we will have to draw the free body diagram and then use the work energy principle so as uh, whatever the problem which we have solved by newton second law same problems i'll show by this work energy principle also and we will be getting the same answer and probably in the least time later on it's your choice how to solve it now see this problem we have solved by newton second law now the conveyor belt so what is this the conveyor belt is designed to transport packages of various weight shown in figure each 10 kg package has coefficient of friction 0.15 if the speed of the belt is 5 meters and then it is suddenly stop determine the distance the package will slide on the belt before coming to rest means first step is what draw the free body diagram so this is the block of 10 kg or package of 10 kg now how is it free body diagram 10 kg means 98.1 newton this is the weight from this side normal reaction rn i now if this motion is towards left this belt is moving towards this side so towards left then frictional force will be towards right and that is what 0.15 rn 0.15 rn then how we can solve this first first if we use over here summation f y is equal to it is moving horizontally only no motion in y direction it is equal to zero because a y is zero means rn minus 98.1 it is equal to zero hence we will get rn is equal to 98.1 newton so this is the first step and then after that so the motion is towards this direction so use by work energy principle by work energy principle so what is the force in the direction of motion there is no other force hence frictional force which is opposite means minus 0.15 it is the frictional force rn into distance mode which we have to calculate yes is equal to half m final velocity it is going to stop or final velocity v square minus u square so in this example see it uh, how we can solve this minus 0.15 into 98.1 into s which we have to calculate half m is 10 into 0 square means it is going to stop and initial velocity is the velocity of the belt is the velocity of belt correct so on both the side negative sign is there it will get cancelled and how will get the answer so in the next line itself in the next line itself will get yes only work energy principle means one or two lines we need and that is what how we can get this 20 pi into pi divided by 
98.1 divided by 0.15 it is 8.49 and the same answer we got by Newton's second law 8.49 meters means by work energy principle simply in one or two lines easily we can get the same answer now like this we will go for the second example also or next example how we can solve this the procedure is same it is a crate 50 kg i now see its weight is going to be 50 into 9.81 50 into 9.81 it is 490.5 490.5 newton it's rn normal reaction now this applied force it is there or this is the normal reaction only the motion is towards right and frictional force is towards left Frictional force is 0.4 Rn. 0.4 Rn. Calculate the time required for the crate to come to rest and the corresponding distance x traveled. So, first, what we can do? We can use for this summation Fy. It is equal to May. Newton's second law. Uh, only as it is not moving in y direction equilibrium conditions it is equal to 0 rn minus 490.5 it is equal to 0 hence rn is equal to 490.5 newton then once we get this rn then by using We have to get the time required for the crate to come to rest and the corresponding distance. So initially it is moving with 7 meters per second. So if we use impulse momentum principle, so that is also just like work energy principle, IMP, impulse momentum principle, force in the direction of motion, it is minus 0.4 into Rn, frictional force, which is opposite, that's why minus into T, F into T, it is impulse, is equal to M, V minus U, V minus U. So, minus 0.4 into Rn means 490.5 into T, it is equal to 50 kg means 50 minus 0 minus 7. And from this, directly we will get T. So, <clears throat> how we can get it? Minus minus it will plus 50 into 7. So, whatever the answer is divided by 490.5 divided by 0 0.4. 1.78 seconds. And by Newton's second law also, we got the same answer, 1.78. And if we use work energy principle, WEP, the same problem. Work energy principle will be what? The force minus 0.4 Rn. It is the frictional force into distance mode. It is work is equal to half m v square minus u square finish now what is unknown yes or here it is asked as x so you can write instead of yes it is x it is x then minus 0.4 into rn 490.5 into x which is unknown is equal to half into 50 0 square minus 7 square minus 7 square <coughs> then again how we can get this x x 
49 into 25 divided by 490.5 something it's uh, 25 into 49 divided by 490.5 2.49 divided by 0.4 it is 6.24 this is the answer 6.24 meters so we can solve the same problem by work energy principle like this another example again see what we have to do draw the free body diagram and so whatever this crate is there make it free from the contact surface this weight is 490.5 15 to 9.81 then rn normal reaction frictional force will be opposite to it and it is 0.3 rn and this whatever the additional force is applied it is 30 degree and this force is 400 newton 400 newton this is the free body diagram of this object then after that use summation fy is equal to 0 rn minus 490.5 plus 400 sin 30 it is equal to 0 and if you make this calculations we will get 290.5 newton so this is rn normal reaction and then afterwards determine the velocity of the crate in 5 seconds starting from a rest so uh, what we have to do so when 5 seconds are there time is given here distance is not given then what we will do so just like work energy principle impulse momentum principle imp impulse momentum principle then impulse momentum principle is what force in the direction of motion 400 cos 30 minus 0.3 rm is equal to m v minus v minus u change in momentum a 50 kg crate shown in figure rests on a horizontal plane for which if the crate doesn't tip over when it is subjected to 400 newton towing force as shown in figure determine the velocity of the crate in 5 seconds starting from rest means initial velocity is 0 so 400 cos 30 minus 0.3 into rn 290.5 is equal to m it is 50 kg 50 final velocity v initial velocity 0 starting from rest and from this we will get v so it is 400 into cos 30 minus 0.3 into 290.5 259 259 huh. so this is the force so whatever is there so this is the force in the direction of motion into t into t it is the impulse momentum principle and this force into 5 time is 5 hence 259 into 5 divided by 
फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट नाइन टू इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट नाइन टू मीटर्स पर सेकेंड दिस इज द वेलोसिटी मीन्स वी कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम बाय यूजिंग इम्पल्स मोमेंटम प्रिंसिपल नाउ वी सी वन मोर एग्जाम्पल बाय वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल A crate having a mass of 60 kg falls horizontally off the back of a truck, which is traveling at 80 km per hour. Determine the coefficient of friction between the road and the crate if the crate slides 45 meters on the ground with no tumbling along the road before coming to rest. Means actually, whatever the velocity of the car uh, truck, it is going to be the velocity of the crate. U. Is going to be 80 kmph. 80 kmph means it is 22.22. I think 80 divided by 3.6. It is 22.22 meters per second. Then draw the pre-body diagram of the crate, which is 60 kg. 60. Into or sixty into nine point eight one five eighty eight point six five eighty eight point six newton. Then it is going to be R N. Kind the motion is in the direction of truck in this direction. So the frictional force will be like this and. This mu k we have to get mu k R n mu k R n correct and the distance moved in this direction it is forty five meters forty five meters and final velocity is going to be zero. So first in the y direction you use summation f y it is equal to zero and what will get R n minus five eight eight point six it is equal to zero. R n is go equal to five eight eight point six newton. Five eight eight point six newton. And once we get R n, then easily we can use work energy principle by W E P work energy principle. The force in the direction of motion. So here the force in the direction of motion is frictional force. That's why minus mu k. Which we have to calculate, R n into yes is equal to half m v square minus u square. Now minus mu k into R n is five eight eight point six into forty five. It is equal to. Half into sixty in the bracket v square zero square minus twenty two point two two square. Work energy principle means answer in one line, and from this we will get mu k. If we make this calculations. Point five five nine zero point five five nine. This is the answer. Like this, easily we can solve the problem by work energy principle. Means in the examination, it is your choice, either Newton's second law, work energy principle, or impulse momentum principle. If we understand the concept, easily we can solve these examples. Thank you.